Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market, and boys, I have a video for you guys that's going to be a little bit more unique. Uh, it's going to be something that you guys can do on Sunday nights. Sunday nights is when Squad Battle Rewards come out, and if you guys didn't see already, last night I did a video on the channel with uh, my boy Jimmy's top 100, top 20 Squad Battle Rewards. They went really well, so make sure you guys go give that a click if you guys want to go check out. It is on the channel. What I will be showing you guys today <clears throat> is how to make some coins on players on Sunday nights. Now, a lot of people get packs, right? So a lot of people play Squad Battle Rewards and they get rewards on Sunday night. What I would do is go onto the market and pick a group of players that are high in demand. For me, I think Mendy's a pretty high in demand player, right? Mendy is right now on the market about 16,000 coins. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Footbin. And you're going to want to check on Footbin. What was he, and I will stretch this out for you guys a little bit. So what on, check on Footbin and see what was he going for earlier today, right? And what, what, what was he the last hour? So he was about 16.3, right? So he's not really that down. So what you guys can do, and I like to do this with Premier League players, right? I don't really think this works with Team of the Week informs. But what you guys can do is you guys can go with Premier League players, right? And what you can do is you can go like, I'll go, let's say, let's go 80 to 84, 83 rated, right? Let's pick like 80 to 83 rated players that we think are high in demand, are meta, are players that people are using a lot in the Weekend League, right? So let's go for a player like uh, Murata, right? Let's see like Murata, right? 4.4K. He was 4.3 earlier, but what was he the last hour or two? It's about 4.4, right? But what you guys can do is you guys can get players on Flippin, right? And use them to your advantage, right? And honestly, I, I, it's the simple things like this, right? Like Mendy's an 81 rated. So what does that mean if somebody's an 81 rated? It means they're going to get packed a lot, um, especially during squad battle rewards. And you guys can see, rewards started about 20 minutes ago. You guys can see all these cards on, coming onto the market. You guys can see that there's a ton. So if he insta-sells at 15.5, set up a little filter, right? Like do some sniping, right? And there's so many things you guys can do to make coins on Sunday nights. It's pretty crazy. Um, I made about 100,000 coins last Sunday night by doing sniping and not, I didn't, when I got these players for the snipes, I didn't sell them right away. I waited till the next day because what the squad battles do, it brings coins onto the market guys. So what you should do is let people, you know, let people do all this stuff. So you guys can see there, there's a 12.25 Mendy, right? These are popping up like crazy. And what I want to show you guys is that you don't even have to be that good of a sniper to get some of these cards. I just want you to see that they're coming like crazy. Um, so let's go to like Maratha, right? So Men Mendy's not working. Last week, Mendy worked fantastically for me. He doesn't look like he's having too much of a drop. So Flippin said Maratha was about 4,400 coins. He is about 4,400. So the buy window, guys, I bet was about 20 minutes ago. I'm a little late. I was recording a video, right? So I would say set Maratha at about 4,100. And you could argue that this is general sniping. But I, what I will tell you is this. There's more to making coins on Sunday night than just sniping, and we will get into that in a minute because there's something you guys can do in like 20 minutes, and I will show you guys exactly what that is. Um, but, I, you know, guys, look, I'm not doing a ton of this right now. I did a lot of this last weekend. When I started my series, I'll be doing this a lot. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys was a met with, with some trading methods that you guys can do every Sunday night. You guys should be looking forward to Sunday nights. They are an, uh, a night of the week where you're going to get players popping up on the market like crazy. Um, what I will do is I will check on Kieran Trippier right now, right? Trippier is a player that fluctuates a ton on this game. Um, we'll see. So right now he's about 4,400, right? So let's see right now. If we go look at 4,300, does he pop up? So there's about one, right? So you want what you want to do, is, and this is what I do a lot of the time, is I just look at Flippin. I go check Flippin. I say, hey, you know, Trippier is selling for this, this price at this hour. Okay, well, what was he selling last hour? Was he 4,400 or is he a little bit down? So he's 4,800 last hour. What you guys can also do is make sure you're just checking on the team of the week three. Um, usually there's going to be some players listing up some snipes or things like that. Now, I think I think team of the week three, the team of the week that is usually in packs usually goes up when squad battle rewards is out. That's kind of my theory about it. So I don't really think that investing in it is too good. Um, last week, the market dropped a ton during squad battle rewards. And I think it was because everybody played squad battles. So a lot of people went, just packed whatever they packed and they listed it all on the market. I think maybe this week... People are a little bit more conscientious. Uh, conscientious. I think a little people are a little bit more like aware um, of like market trends and things like that. And I think people are a little bit just more careful with their coins. And I think people are checking out some of that stuff. Um, so what I would do is I would just kind of like and look. None of this is really working for me right now. So I'm I'm guys. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm having terrible success with this right now. This is probably the worst this has ever been for me uh, in the history of when I've done this. This is terrible right now. I'm not winning anything. Uh, what I would let's check on Danny Rose like even like guys like this Danny Rose is about 1,800 1,600 so you guys can see that Danny Rose looks like he's actually coming down pretty hard during squ squad battle rewards yeah 1-5 so there's a lot of him on the market too which tells me that he's getting packed a lot 
So you guys can do this on any budget, right? You can you can go to Danny Rose. It's a little bit lesser than Trip here. If you do you know, if you wanna if you wanna if you want your margins to be a little bit smaller, you could go to Ricardo Pereira. I, I like to go to Rico Ricardo Pereira. Was a guy I made a lot of coins on last week. And the reason why these guys are the coin makers, right, is because they're the 81 rated cards that are up a little bit because they have high demand. So people don't really always know that these cards are selling for a lot more. And you can use that to your advantage, right? Like you can use that idea and that mindset to your advantage because somebody's not always gonna know to go list up a Pereira like for a crazy price. Uh, for, a, you know, somebody might pack a Pereira and think he's 3,000 coins. That's kind of the concept of sniping, but it's, it's something that you guys gotta do because Sunday nights, I'm a little late, right? So like I was recording Mr. Jimmy's top 20 squad better rewards. So I wasn't able to be on a peak time. When packs come out, usually this stuff is crazy. Um, like literally this stuff is hot fire on the market going nuts, right? So you guys can see it's still coming in a little bit. Now PlayStation has its bots or whatever the hell it has. It's got Olympic snipers over here. Like it's crazy. But usually when squad battles is coming out, not, not even all those guys who are crazy good snipers can all kind of like get in the way of your success of getting good cards. So that's what I would tell you guys. Like there's a ton of ways and it's like you can anybody can do this on whatever budget you're on like it doesn't matter you just have to keep rotating like you guys saw when i got stuck and this is why i want to do this live because i want you guys to see this and it's not edited and like all cut up and stuff and like made to seem like it's so easy because it's not none of this is easy like making coins is not easy um in, 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 no matter what regard you do it right like but this is more stuff i would be doing if you're like yo i have 250k like what do i do how do i make coins right like i would do this kind of stuff like even here like i'm not even gonna make coins on that deal right because that's just not even a good deal but it's, it is what it is, right? Like it, it's not easy to make coins, but what I'm trying to show you guys is it's, this is that struggle. But 20 minutes ago, this is insane. Um, this, this 20 minutes ago, you will be getting deals left, right and center because people are just opening packs and listing players up. So you guys should make, you guys should make this point in your, in your Sunday nights, like almost religion. Like you guys should be getting on here at this time and just picking players that are low in like tax margins. Like also right now, like, oh my God, it's a big time snipe. Let's go, man. 4,600 coins. You see what I'm saying? So, like, people don't know, man. And that's the thing. It, it you, 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 You're just here to, to... And if something is working, right? Like, this card right now, like, Ricardo Pereira is working fantastically right now. Right? Like, we've seen a ton of him in the last minute, like, pop up. Like, you guys see all these cards right now? Look at all these cards popping up right now. So, I just got another one, right? Like, pick a player that is working for you and don't go to anyone else. Like, I don't care if you're in a, if you're in a call with your friend and he's doing something else and, and that's really working out for him. Fuck him. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, do what is working for you guys. Like, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Always ne never do some trading method or something because someone says it's something that's good. Do something that's working for you. You guys saw how Mendy wasn't working? Guys, I'll tell you right now, Mendy made me 50,000 coins last week and I sniped 25 of them at 13,000 coins and I sold... Actually, he made me more. I sold them all at 17 because I waited till the next day. I could hold this Pereira to tomorrow and make some extra change. I'm not going to, right? But what the point, the point of this is, guys, is that... It, it, if, if you if you are persistent with a player that keeps popping a baton, like for me guys, Pereira is just, we've seen like 20 pop-ups and I've already won six or seven of them. Probably seen 10 or 15 because I've won a good amount of them. Don't go to somebody else, right? I'll go with Pereira until like another minute from now. And if Pereira stops coming up, then Pereira stops coming up, right? Like that's when we stop. But <clears throat> figure out what the cheapest bin is and then set up a filter. 4,400 coins, I just missed that. And I'll tell you right now, boys, that one was painful to miss. That one was a very good one. We do get a 5,500 and he just keeps coming out of the sky, right? So I would say to you guys, this is a really, really good way to make coins on Sunday nights. And any time, look, I will say this. Any time that there is a promo round or some kind of lightning round or something like that, this is fantastic. Like team of the year, I'm going to be doing live trading with you guys during team of the year because it's going to be mental. You guys pick a group of five players and you rotate between them, right? Like pick players you think are going to get packed a lot and you guys will make absolute crazy amounts of coins. Like it's just... It's crazy. It is. It is. It is crazy. I'm telling you guys right now, like it is, it's also really fun. Like, you know, even for me guys, like I know you guys know I'm doing icons and I, and I do a lot of that stuff and we do team of the week investing and we flip informs. Never forget where you came from. This is where I start. This is how I started making coins way back in the day. I started making coins by picking a few players on certain rewards days or certain kind of like promo drop days. And I would just stick to it like religion. Like I would only invest in these players. I would only do that do what works for you you guys can see here man Pereira is working for us we are getting Pereiras at 5,000 coins man it's like it is working so don't change what's working right like that's that, that's the point of it like and you guys are gonna get bored to death of this in a minute you guys be like Nick can you st go snipe another player no this one is working for me right so like it's like pick your pick pick what works for you now there's also gonna be another part of this video which I actually think I'm gonna be able to get around to 
and I'm gonna do that in a few minutes after we snipe a few more of these Pereiras. Um, but it's 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 a pretty cool aspect of, of Sunday Night Rewards because you've got also the ability to bid. Um, you guys with with Sunday nights, you guys can bid as well, and that's the beauty of it, right? Like you guys can do so many things on Sunday nights, right? You can spend your first 50 minutes sniping different players because that's what it is, right? Like they're gonna be popping up left, right, and center for about 50 minutes. Then after that, what you guys can do is you guys can go and move on to bidding. Why is bidding so good, right? Because everyone opens up packs and they list everything for minimum bid, like the 83s, everything. So you will see in about when Squad Battle Rewards come out, which is 805, you will see about 905, which is my time. So it'll be 205 in the UK. There will be millions of cards listed up at minimum bid, like tons of cards. It should be stupid. Um, and that's because what happens is people just list up their packs. And so what happens is not everybody on the market can actually go and get all of them. Um, so what it results in essentially is kind of like this. It, it's, it's pretty crazy to be honest. I like, it's pretty crazy how many pe people tweet at me at night and get like 88 rated for 3k because what happens is there's just such a mass supply on the market that it, it turns into almost like, like it honestly, it's like wonderland to go win cards because it's so, it becomes so easy. Uh, it just becomes so easy. It's like, so easy because there's just so many right with the supply and all that it, it makes it easier right so let me go move on right because Pereira stopped working let's go to Robertson I love these players by the way boys that are like six five uh eight nine k because I just feel like at this range people don't really people don't really especially the 81 82 rated I think people just don't really check the prices of these uh so Robertson's about I think Robertson's gonna be similar to Pereira so Robertson is like 6,400 coins right so I'll go snipe at 6,100 because he's bidding at 6,400 uh, and let's see how much he pops up. I have not packed Robertson. What I would tell you guys is try to snipe the players that you think you're packing a lot that are up in price. So like if you guys are opening mega packs, uh, if you guys are opening up SPC packs, things like that, try to take an inventory of who you guys are packing a good amount of because some players have higher pack weights than others. And if they're inflated cards, and what do I mean by that? Like if they're cards like Robertson, Pereira, guys that are popular or at lacking or scarce positions, then go and snipe them because those guys are going to be the guys that are actually going to be popping up the most on snipes because they're getting packed the most. I know people are going to disagree with that and say that, you know, like it's just pack probabilities and stuff are random. I'm telling you right now, guys, there are some players that get packed more in FIFA and I don't know why it's a thing, but it's a thing. So like you guys have to understand that that is a thing. Uh, Robertson, I'm going to give another second to and if he doesn't work, I have one more player that I'm going to show you guys that I really, 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 really like. And he goes by the name of Wynaldum. We actually win a Pereira for 6,000 coins. So I'm going to go list that for 6,400. And look, profits are minim minimal, right? The most ideal thing on Sunday nights is that I showed you guys a video a while back, which was a, a video that talked about when cards like are already down on the day and then we get to a reward set. So like, you know, last weekend I, I had like Mendy's and Trippier's. They were already 3K down on the day and then rewards came out. You guys should not list those back up that same night. I'm listing these up at back, back at the same night because the market is still pretty high right now. So I'm kind of just listing it because I don't want to risk it going down tomorrow. When you know that the cards are down for the day a lot already and you head into rewards and you get snipes, hold the cards for the next day. They will most likely rebound. Squad Battles gives the market coins to the people that don't know what Squad Battles does. What does that mean, right? People get richer because they have Squad Battle rewards. It's like, it's, an, it's a mini crash for about an hour and then it's a market push up. Like things rise because of Squad Battle rewards because people have the ability after Squad Battle rewards to go purchase new players for their teams and things like and things like that. So that's essentially some of the magic in, in terms of squad battle rewards and what it does. See, so Robertson's not been great, right? I've been sniping Robertson for about two minutes and he's been all right, right? We've won two at 6,000 coins, nothing crazy. They sell at 6.4, but that's not a lot of coins. We're making probably like 100 coins after tax there. So go find another one, right? Go look at Wijnaldum. I love Wijnaldum. I think Wijnaldum fits the caliber of, of sniping perfectly, right? He's like an 82 rated. He's high in demand. He plays for Liverpool. It's about 3,900 coins, 3,700, 3,800, right? 3,900 is the actual bin. 4,000 points, 4,000 coins. He is not insta selling. So I'll make it 3.6 because he insta sells at 3.9. So I'm going to go at 3.6 and boom, there's my wine album, right? I'm on PlayStation guys where the massive, the massive FIFA players are. I am sniping against almost everyone in the world. And you guys can see we're having a little bit of competition, but not a ton. I just want to wine out them the first che check I saw for 3.5 and he's going to sell instantly at 3.9, right? So that's some coins, right? Like these are ways that you guys can make coins. And these are ways that you guys have to start you have to start doing this stuff because it's simple things that if you budget an hour of your life, I, you could be the busiest dude in the world. If you budget an hour of your life on Sunday nights to doing this, you're going to be up 20 to 30,000 coins that you never had before. And it's going to help you guys in the long term a lot. I'm telling you guys right now, like it will help you a lot by doing this stuff. If you guys can just kind of put it in almost like church or something like that, they like you make it a big deal. You get on on Sunday nights, you pick a good amount of players, you pick players that you like, pick players that are OP and you just get on the market and you go for them. 
Because that's the only way you guys are going to make coins, man. Just by going for players. You guys can't just sit around all day and think the market's going to rise or the market's going to fall. Go make coins, right? Go grind your butt off, right? When Alum's not working, I'm going to go for a guy who's a little bit more expensive. And this is going to be Eric Bai. And this is going to be one of our last players that we're going to look at. Bai right now is about 12,000 coins on the market. He's a guy that's an 82 rated that's actually really high up, right? Like that, that might have been a good snipe. I have no idea. So he's about 12,000 coins. It looks like he's close to his insta sell. I think 11,750 is his insta sell, right? So if it's 11,750, I'm going to set the filter at 10,750. Even if we get in one of these under this, we're going to make at least 500 coins. Now, Bai is a player that, look, I think Robertson, Pereira, like those are some of the players that are a little bit less like obvious. Mendy is obvious. Bai is obvious. I like to pick players that I think are a little bit less obvious for the reason that I feel like I'll have less competition on the on the filter. A guy like Eric Bai, I bet like there's like six other guys sniping against me with this. So you guys want to be efficient because you guys don't have the whole time in the world to snipe players. Like I know you guys are busy people and like not everyone has the time to just sit here and snipe all day. So you guys can see I missed an Eric Bai for 10,000 coins, right? That would have been a 1,000 coin flip. So that would have been a beautiful one. Um, but I, you know, I didn't win it because there's, I, I'm assuming there's a lot of Guys, I'm just, I think there's a lot of competition uh, on a guy like this. So, you know what? Buy is not working. Here's another perfect one. And I'm just giving you guys Premier League players because this is how I've always done it. I've always done it with Premier League players. Rudiger, right? Rudiger is a very, very overpowered player. It's about 2,900 coins on the market. Some of the players that are about this price are amazing to do the sniping with because it seems like they almost get packed more because they're a little bit less in value. And I just find the success rate with these to be fantastic. So, 2,600 looks to be the absolute bin. Uh, for Rudiger. Let's see what we can pull up. If, if anybody lists at like 2K, 1.5, that kind of stuff, because they're lower down players, you might get a little bit of extra. Wow, I'm quick tonight, boys. I am on my game with these snipes. So look, it's minimal profit, right? And like some of these players on the lower down end are going to be guys who are, have 10,000 coins and are trying to trade, right? Like I know that, that you guys might think that this is like a generic sniping video. It's not. Like this is something that is when when Sunday night is on, like this is up. Like this stuff is flying up on the market and you guys got to get involved with it cuz this is if you did this midday, you would not have the same success rate. If you did this in the middle of the day, like you would I'm telling you right now, this is not the amount of cards boys that you have seen from these unedited like video has been fantastic. Like there has been so many cards and that's just the it's a kudos to what happens boys at at this time of night. Like it's just this is the this is the routine of, of uh, squad battle rewards. You guys should be doing this honestly during weekend league rewards this Thursday. It's gonna be crazy, um, like it is gonna be crazy. So pick players that you guys like. I can do if you guys want to see this on the channel more. If you guys want to see me just recording Sunday night Sunday nights while I trade, because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just showing you guys. I'm just talking over myself trading. If you guys want to see more of this, then let me know, man. I can do this with different leagues. We can do theme things on like Sunday nights of like different leagues and stuff. I can do it with. Um, so just get in the comments, boys, if you guys want that. Let me know. That's a freaking amazing one let's go boys let's go so we got that one for 1400 man let's go dude 2600 we sell it for on the rudiger absolutely fantastic um that, that we'll take that we will take that um and then we're gonna keep going down man we're gonna keep just going down boys we're gonna keep going down so look rudiger's working for me right now right like i've seen three already i've won three i've seen four i've won three out of four uh, i probably won't win that one i do win that one so i don't have a lot guys i don't have a lot of competition right now on this filter so that's why I'm not going to leave it. Um, and that's the simple truth of it, guys. If you do not have competition on a filter, I'm urging and begging you guys not to leave the filter. If it's working, don't don't, don't try to fix what works. You know what I'm saying, boys? Like, do, do not do that to yourselves. It's going to be, it's going to lead to your downfall, man. You guys are going to be pissed if you guys leave something that's working. So I finally missed one, right? I missed a Rudiger. After all, I did miss one, which is okay. Um, means somebody else is here, which is good. Uh, but you guys can see 2,200, like these margins really add up. I think I got on this video tonight with 7,400 coins. No, 743,000 I was what I wanted to say. I think 743,000 I came on with. And now my seven, like, it, I don't know if that was the exact amount, but we're definitely up 5,000 coins as I started recording, which is like, look, it's, it's 5K, but sometimes this is amazing when you find a player that just keeps working. But also sometimes it's amazing when you find a market, like sometimes people will panic sell for weekly rewards in advance. You get on that first 10 minutes, you get all that panic, you eat it up. The market rebounds after a lot. And so you can hold some of these, almost some of these gold cards you win. You guys can hold some of these. But what I'll also tell you is that there will be, and there's something called a second round. Um, a second round of relistings will come. When I talked about the bidding that's upcoming, in, a, in a, which will be about 10 minutes, that you guys can go on a mass bid and you guys will see all the cards on the market that you need a ton. People will relist any of the cards that, of theirs that they listed high and that didn't sell. So what you will see in about the, the second round of listing is you'll see a lot of people that are really pissed off that they couldn't sell a lot of their cards. So they will just list them way under because they're like, yo, you know, they're like, oh, yo, I got to sell them. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's kind of the idea of it is that they, they just kind of bug out and they're like dude i gotta go sell this player so rudiger is uh did we get that so so that that was last rudiger so essentially boys that's how you do it man we've sold 17 cards since i started recording this video um and that's just like how it works man i think i've sold literally every single card that i started to do you guys can almost make a concept squad uh if you guys want and what you guys can do is like in that concept squad you can almost like you could almost put cards that you want to go back and forth between so you guys don't forget them i guess or something like that like that might help a lot of you guys if you guys don't know exactly what kind of cards you want to be going for you can almost do a kind of squad like that that can help you almost like just get ready for whatever comes or all that kind of stuff so i hope the video helped you guys tonight i hope you guys enjoyed it um this is basically what i would do on sunday nights if i want to make some coins if you guys want to see this like weekly just let me know i can easily do this for you guys i can record me trading um and yeah so that's what i would do i would do different leagues maybe not be Premier League because it's pretty mainstream um but yeah thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the video soon peace out <music>